Hello everyone, it is the Banta Guy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play slash walkthrough, mainly a walkthrough of Lord of the... <laughs> of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Sorry, it's just, because I've recently finished my Lord of the Rings The Third Age walkthrough, it's just defaulted my head. It's getting really irritating to enough. It's like, don't say that. Okay, we were, in the last episode, destroying some statues, and we will continue to do so because we can. That didn't destroy. We can destroy. Why won't you blow? There we go, finally. Alright, here we go with the boss battle. You will need all of your skill to survive. Control your fear. Let go of your anger. Put it was the other way around. I don't think so. No, you won't. This guy is pretty weird. <laughs> you will die, Darth Desolus. Why has he got a shield? I mean, that's a pretty crap weapon. Somehow it works, though. I mean, the logic that his shield can stop my lightsaber is freaking stupid. Yeah! No! Run away, run away, run away! <laughs> you will die, Darth Desolus. You are no match for my lightning. It does seem... Button mashing! Button mashing so much button mashing. No, your time is over. I am the future of the city. Good point actually, he is kind of. And now we are into the quick time events. Which I quite like. Um but yeah, I thought wow well, that's squash. Proxy, what are you doing here? Spies have located another Jedi. Already. I do not expect you to survive. Kasdan Paratus is far more powerful than you. But if you destroy him, you'll be one step closer to your destiny. The Emperor. Yes. Only together can we defeat him. I would not fail you, Master. You better not. Because apparently your entire destiny is riding on you defeating Kazdan Pratis. Now Kazdan Pratis is like a cranky Darth Maul in the sense that the only similarity to Darth Maul he has is his double-edged lightsaber. Yay! We learned another thing. Uh, force choke, okay. Heavy training gear. Uh, no, no. We're going to be doing some customization before we do anything else. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Combat crystal. I want better force choke, no doubt. Can we not change it? Seriously. Okay, okay, fine. So we've got training gear. Or heavy training gear. I like the training gear better. Ah, uh, for fucking sake. 
let's let's keep the training gear because otherwise we're just gonna look stupid. Alright, what else can we get? What's detonate? Okay. That's not bad actually. That's not bad. Okay. Back to the Navi computer. Raxus Prime. And yet another Doctor Who loading screen. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this series. Um, I quite like doing linear games because it gives you something to do, and the great thing about this game is it just goes over and over again. So that you can keep on getting better force power. So the replayability of this game is huge, which is a great feature. And the story is good to boot, which is... It's a rare thing you get good stories. Amazing. It looks just like the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Proxy, are you picking up any communications? Too many to decipher. I can hear thousands of droids all calling out to each other. This is where all droids go to die. Set us down as close to... But it's a droid graveyard. I will do my best, but there are not many clearings. You'll need to approach the temple on foot. Dun dun dun. Wait for my signal. Be careful. I think Juno has feelings for you, Star Killer. Or Wayne Rooney. Well, let's just call him Wayne Rooney. Although, if he is Wayne Rooney, he's pushing way above his weight because he Wayne Rooney looks like a freaking chimp, an oversized chimp. And in case you're wondering, from the US, what Wayne Rooney's famous for? Football. Yeah, these guys are a lot tougher than the, any of the other uh, stormtroopers. They're not too much tougher, but still tough. You droids are nothing. Only I, Starkiller, am any more match than you. Uh, yeah, this, when I first played this game, this part freaked me out. Because I thought this was going to be a really fast enemy. And it turns out he's just freaking terrible. What the f What the freak? Like, pissed off to the face. Where's the big guy? Don't know where he is. Whoa! <laughs> you are no match for the power of me. Yeah, so <laughs> that was that. Um, let's make sure there's no bonuses. <laughs> you know, one of my favourite things to do on these guys is to execute a force choke because he's a freaking robot and it should absolutely do nothing. And it actually turns out it's uh, quite effective. So here we find our 20th holocron. We are one tenth of the way to collecting them all. And we're probably way more than 10% through this game, so, you know. I mean, they're not, they're not particularly hard to find, it's just, because there's so many of them, you have to be looking for them all the time. And, yeah. I'll show you what I mean about the force choke with, with these next few enemies. Look. It should do absolutely nothing, but for some reason it causes problems. Ah! Yay, we found another holocron! Wah! And why these guys don't also instantly short circuit because of the force lightning? I don't know, but then it was probably would have been made too easy. And they probably have some sort of, I don't know, resistor or something. Ah! Ah, for goodness sake, this is hard. 
die. Health, health, health. Okay, is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this camera. If you can't, couldn't already tell. Run away! And then electrocute. Another holocron. Yay! Holy crap, that's a thing, that's a thing, that's a really big thing. Die. Okay. One of my favorite things to do with this guy is he can also be force choked. Or at least I thought he could. But those guys definitely can. And it's not really a force choke with these guys, it's more of a force rip, kind of. Let us go further on. Okay. So these are, uh, whatever kind of creature Greedo is. Junk golems. That's what these guys are, but I don't know what the kind of thing that the other guys are. I mean, I'm not as in tune as much with the Star Wars universe as I am with the Lord of the Rings universe. That's why I don't know what a lot of these things are. Although they're pretty cool. Die, you big thing. Where are the other junk golems? Freaking wow. That knocked me a long way. I can't do anything. Die, you things. Okay, this is a big guy. This is a really big guy. Okay. Junk Behemoth, that's what he is. He's a douche, basically. He's possibly the biggest douche you'll fight in the entire game. Those big arm things are an absolute pain to deal with. He's squeezing me! Button mash! Button mash! Here comes the button mash man, the button mash man, the button mash man. Here comes the button mash man, who lives on button mash lane. Yeah, it doesn't work. Come on, do your arm thing. There we go! Holy crap! Bullcrap! Bullcrap! You all saw him do that! Really, really don't like the Behemoth. I really don't. I think he's a cheater. If he's anything. Fr freaking you were facing the other way! Liar. Button mashing, button mashing. Holy crap, that's a lot of button mashing. Okay, now we can do the quick time events. Quick time events are a lot better than button mashing because if you don't button mash, holy shit, we got owned. Crap, I've mucked that up. And why does that not hurt him? I don't know why. There we go. Right, let's try not screw this up. 
Yes, yes. Now saber his head. What the frick? I pressed square, you prick. Whoa! And how can you retreat your arms that quickly? Cheater! Button mashing! There we go. Right, let's not screw this up. Freaking unbelievable. There we go. Okay, finally we got his, we got his head. Oh goodness, my fingers are saying why? Why? Not smart. Why not? He'll do what? Again, he's a pretty cool guy actually, but is there any health here? Because I'll need it before I go on. Any health? Anywhere? No? Okay. Never mind. Uh, what? What? The, which way is up? I don't know. Uh, let's actually get some upgrades. Let's get the next thing. Saber whirlwind. What's that do? Hmm. Uh, uh, whatever. We've we've almost got all the skills, so may as well. Okay. Some welcome. I've heard better than your men. <laughs> I need to find Cass and Paranus. Ah, Miki Nato Jedi. Mizoto Dreman Kra. Joko Siku. There will be no negotiating. Jochi, when so. Wayne Rooney's gone bad. Funny. And we're suddenly in a different area. So close. I almost survived. Sorry about that, guys. Um, not feeling particularly well as we destroy more junk golems. Yeah, these are the parts that I don't like showing because it's just me killing the same guys over and over again. Although I show it for a reason. I show it so that you don't have to play it if you don't want to. So if you really, if you're interested in this game and you can't actually get it yourself, then you know, you can just watch me do the boss battles. Um, health! Health! Right, where are the other guys? There's one of them. Where's the other one? One more. And that's the end of you. Okay. Let us progress further into the junkyard. I finally figured out this camera, by the way. Uh, 
I mean, not that it takes that much figuring out, it's just more a case of I'm not used to the controls. Help! What the f- wh where am I getting killed from? Uh, that's one problem with this game, is the fact you can never see where anyone's coming from. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at both screens, see if I can find them all. Holy freaking crap! Would you stop having the most accurate aiming ever? One thing I don't get about games, how come everyone has really, really good accurate strikes for their guns? Oh, crap. Right, finally, okay, let's go. Hell. I like how they give you so much health. Uh, okay, nope. Cancel. Cancel. Ah! Get over here. This is like Scorpion. Get over here! And yeah, look, you can force choke these guys. Which makes no sense. And he apparently disappears. What the? Where did you come from? That was weird. Did they just come out of him? That was weird. Okay. And I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode. I've been the Banty Guy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.